Welcome back to this club civil engineering. In this lecture, I am just going to show you that how we will calculate volume of beam, column, slab, a staircase or anything you have uh, assigned in ETAPS. So, uh, how easily we will find out its volume, I will show you that today. So, let us start. First of all, you have to create your model like that. Okay, so I hope you know that how to create that model. Otherwise, you can uh, go to our description for the video that how to use ETAPS. They have almost 96 video or more than 96 video about ETAPS. Okay, so after uh, creating that model, we have to analyze that model and we have to design that model. Okay, final in final way by using ultimate condition and by using servicing uh, serviceable condition and then service condition and alpha ultimate condition. So after uh, designing your all complete when your everything is ready then you have to you can uh, i mean you need to find out the estimating data for that structure for separate separate work okay now what you can do that now what you can do that so uh, after analysis you can go here display then you can go here show table right and from here model then from here a structural data then they have three options material list so from here they have three options materials by a story list material list by a story material list by section material list by element so uh, which option will select actually suppose you if you need the all story beam estimating or volume of that to find out uh, sand cement aggregate then you can use only that option for beam slab for etc you can material listed by section so it will give you all section view okay and if you need material listed by a story so suppose for your first story how much materials you required what will be the volume of your concrete you can find out that and one thing from here you are not able to find out your uh, reinforcement from here okay for reinforcement we will use uh, vvs or anything okay so here I will just show you about section first of all then okay just see here which section I have used if I just little bit go up so here it's showing us for column I have used three section and it's showing us this is the total weight okay so suppose um, here uh, this is for my case this is pound but uh, for your case it can be another unit so what we'll do come here and show unit forms and from here go to mass uh, unit and mass suppose here weight for weight if you give keep it will show you okay just see it's giving you the value of keep i mean the weight in keep okay so actually which unit will consider here we'll just go define to ensure section properties then frame section suppose for beam okay for uh, beam for beam so i'll double click and here uh, show uh, sorry uh, we'll go for uh, materials properties not materials properties then suppose uh, if i want to see about m25 grade or m20 grade concrete then show materials and here you can see that unit weight per unit volume 150 150 pound per safety thermony so you can understand that i'll just cancel i'll just cancel so i'll just take that value in keep i mean the weight unit in keep so here i'll go down again mass I'll here I'll change that in pound after that I'll close that okay I'll click ok so that is in pound now I'll select all of that for what I need okay for what I need uh, the data I'll right click and from my export to Excel I'll click export to Excel so here a Excel file have generated just see so if that option is not required we can delete that now here is the data okay so what would you actually suppose here for column so if i need to find out the volume of column 
I will just come here and I will equal to I will take sum ACM sum and I will bracket so here the total weight of our column okay you are seeing here total weight of column so how will find out that volume so to find out that volume as one CFT concrete weight is 150 pound so from pound if we want to find out our volume then we have to simply divide that value by using 150 i know i hope you know that so if i click here and here is the um, weight divided by 150 then bracket then here so here is your volume this is the volume and here is the weight so how see how easily we have find out our volume here that volume are available okay now from that volume if you need to find out the uh, concrete I mean if you need to find out the requirement of different types of materials then I have an excel sheet just see here I have already provided that excel sheet absolutely for free so here just uh, motor estimating from RCC first of all just you have to come here from that data I will copy that volume copy and from here I'll just paste that volume here as a number just see and here you have to give the ratio and when you give the ratio it will give you how much uh, metals you required here and here you can give its uh, price to find out the total uh, cost okay so just see here one sorry here uh, it's showing a dollar sign that uh, that means uh, actually uh, I have just provided randomly okay so you can uh, provide change here or you can uh, consider with your country currency okay so here just see the number of cement number of cent and number of qua or aggregate you required and uh, for that how much number of brick you will be required so that is the way to find out our total materials okay our uh, total materials so same way you can find out for others part of that uh, structure so I hope uh, you have understand that how we'll do that and how we can perfectly do that so I'll just sorry I'll close that I'll not save that no requirement so here and uh, after that if I just close that and again from here you can also go table then model then structural data then material list okay then by a story if we just want to get our uh, data uh, as per a story then i'll double click just see here we'll uh, found our data by a story okay a story to a story so for c uh, and the element type will be only like floor okay so here like that you can select all of that okay you can select like that and after that right click and export excel same and here you will get your data just see and i will just and here you will be able to see that how much pieces you have taken now if i just go to our ground floor okay so for ground floor this is the here almost many value are available floor area so here is the total floor area you can see that here it's showing us total floor area also okay and here also it's giving us sum the total column volume of our structure and here sum total beam okay so here it's giving you the work for wall for slab see what is that i'm not sure it's everything uh, Okay, we will not consider that three option. We will not consider that three. Uh, we will just, oh, sorry, this is this is the total uh, floor area. So, total weight is here. So, from here, you can see our, our total area. This is a total requirement of concrete weight. And uh, as that is in volume, then you can simply do that. Just see how easily we can, and um, for different, different history, I know uh, you will be able to do that now okay for different different test story and also you can find out the materials requirement for different different test story so how easily uh, we can do that 
I hope uh, it will be helpful for you. So if you think that it was helpful for you, obviously subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, share this video with your friends or with your engineer friends and obviously support us. So thank you. Thank you very much.